Hey everyone, it's Andrew Esquivel here back with another review. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Earth LED Theta Lux 9 watt LED light bulb. Now I can't show you what it looks like physically in my hands. However, I can show you a picture of what the bulb looks like. Watcha! Magic of editing. So let me show you really quickly what it looks like installed in a fixture. And when I do this, it'll actually correct the color that you're seeing on the camera. This is a webcam, so it's not that great at picking up colors. But if you see, I move it up here, the colors become much more crisp. That's what it actually looks like. The color is actually what, that's what it is. And the reason it looks so vivid in its coloring is because I'm using the 5000 Kelvin color spectrum version of this bulb. That's called cool light. Now alternatively, you can get it in the 2700 Kelvin color spectrum, which is called a warm, uh, warm white or light, I guess. One of the two. So that's, that's what it actually looks like. And I gotta say, I prefer the cool white because to me, it just seems right. And there are, there are actually advantages to getting it in the 5000 Kelvin spectrum. If you're someone who suffers from seasonal depression because in the winter it gets all dark and stuff, well 5000 Kelvin is actually relatively close to what the sun puts out in terms of its color. And being human beings we actually need that kind of color to stimulate our brains in a way that actually wards away depression. By using 2700 Kelvin bulbs, you're further away from what natural sunlight looks like, and that can add to your seasonal depression during the winter when there's not much sunlight to begin with. So, now that you've seen a little demonstration of what it actually looks like, because the camera right here, the colors, not so accurate. But that's my webcam's fault. Going over some specs, this particular bulb in the 5000 Kelvin version, because that's the only one I have, puts out about 700 lumens. Now, that's relatively bright for 9 watts, but under the specifications you may see that uh, it's claiming to be a replacement to a 75 watt incandescent bulb. In reality, that's not the case. It's more so suited to replace a 60 watt incandescent bulb. So, suggesting that it'll be as bright as a 75 watt bulb is inaccurate. It's not going to be brighter or as bright as a 75 watt. It's closer to 60 watt in real life. But, don't let that deter you from buying it. It is a fantastic bulb. It is solid, well-built, shatterproof, and actually relatively bright for what it is. It's just one light. Now, most ceiling fans have like three lights on it. This is just one. So with that being said, I like it. The color is great. And let me start off by saying this. It can save you up to like 80 to 90% of electricity compared to an incandescent bulb. And it can save you up to like 20 to 30 percent over a fluorescent easily. To get that same amount of brightness with a fluorescent bulb, I need a fluorescent bulb that pulls 20 watts. This LED bulb is only pulling nine. That's less than half of the power required for my fluorescent bulb. Not to mention that my fluorescent bulb only lasts up to 15,000 hours before it starts to go bad. This bulb lasts up to 25,000 hours before it starts to reduce its overall brightness output measured in lumens. So another question that people have is, you know, regular incandescent bulbs and fluorescent bulbs, they're omnidirectional. They put colors in 360 degrees. And that's true. These bulbs, or this bulb in particular, is a directional bulb, meaning it's not good if you're trying to light an entire room by pointing it up through like a lamp. Not a good idea. 
What you want is to put this in a down-facing fixture somewhere on your ceiling. You're supposed to have it above you pointing down, and not the other way around, because it is a directional bulb. That's just the way they are. Now, you can buy omnidirectional LED light bulbs. They're a bit more expensive, and I don't think Earth LED makes an omnidirectional. I could be wrong, though. Another thing to note that might be worth noting is that this particular bulb is not dimmable. If you want something dimmable, look into the Theta Lux Pro. I'm pretty sure that one is a dimmable LED light bulb. So, another question you may be having is the base type. Now, I know in the United States we use, I believe, E26. And European countries tend to use E27. Now, I've, that has something to do with the measurement of the socket in which the bulb is screwed into. And I may have those two backwards, actually. Just know this. The bulb will fit in either an E26 or E27 socket. The bulb is also designed for outdoor lighting capabilities as well. So if you have an outdoor lighting need, sometimes fluorescent bulbs don't work so well. Sometimes. With the LED bulb, you can put it out there. It's actually rated to do that. Another thing about it is it, it has an integral heat sink to help dissipate heat, make it run nice and cool. Contrary to popular belief, LED light bulbs do generate heat. Not as much as an incandescent or halogen, I should say, but enough to wear an internal heat sink. It helps. So, overall, is it really worth spending $20 plus shipping on an LED light bulb? It really all depends on your situation. If you're switching from incandescent bulbs and halogen bulbs over to LED bulbs, your electric bill is going to go down like crazy. Which means, yeah, you're going to be saving a lot of money. Yes, okay, you're spending money up front. But in the end, you're saving money. Not only do these bulbs last longer than just about any other bulb, they take less power than any other bulb. It's a win-win. doesn't matter if you're trying to save the environment or if you're trying to save your wallet from disintegrating. The bulbs are great. They really are. They're instant on. There's no wait time for them to get to their maximum luminosity. Anyone who's had a fluorescent light bulb knows that problem. They hate it. You turn on a fluorescent light bulb, a compact fluorescent light, and you wait. You wait and wait and wait, and word behold, five minutes later, now you can see. Trust me, I had one of those light bulbs. I hated it. You turn it on, you can't even tell there's any light to begin with. Now, I'm a nocturnal kind of guy, okay? I do all my work, and I live my life at night, which means I use light bulbs quite a bit. So if there's something I can do to save myself money in the long run, I do it especially with electricity. These light bulbs go above and beyond the standards of any conventional light bulb, be it incandescent, halogen, compact, fluorescent. Doesn't matter. These truly are superior light bulbs if you want decent light and want to save energy. Now I know what you're thinking. You've done research and your research shows that these things aren't as bright as you would like them to be. And I suppose that's true. But who said you ever had to just use one? Ever thought that just maybe you can buy two and get the light you need? You'd still be saving power. That's what I'm doing. See, like I said, my light fixture up there only has one bulb capability. That light fixture is a piece of junk. That's why I'm simply going to buy a new fan that can hold three bulbs. And I guarantee you, when I have three of these, 
I'm still going to be using less power than I normally would with an, a compact fluorescent. Well, the brighter compact fluorescent that I have. I'd still be using less power than that, but literally getting like twice the lighting, at least, comparing to my old fluorescent bulb, that is. So, with all that being said, yeah, they are worth the $20 if you're willing to look at the long run, the long term objectives. You're not going to see your investment back right away, but trust me, you will sooner or later. And when you do, you can only be saving money. So with that being said, terribly sorry I couldn't physically hold the product to you, but I figure seeing what the product can do is a little more important. So anyway guys, thanks for watching, hope it was informative, please comment, rate, subscribe, show your friends, all that good stuff. Check out my other videos and as always, thanks for watching.